Hi everybody, Steve Griffiths here, developer of the MT Predictor software program. In today's MT Predictor video, I'd like to look at two new tools we've got in our new Ninja Trader 7 add-ons and also in our Ninja Trader 8 add-ons, and they'll be coming soon in a new version of MT Predictor Standalone. Um, we haven't got the release date of that yet, but it's coming soon. But I wanted to look at this in our Ninja Trader 7 add-ons to show you how we could have actually had a lovely trade on the 3 minute YM yesterday, which was September the 6th. It's this VS buy setup here. Our VS is our volume spike, and it allows you to get into the market when the market is making a reversal. Normally a fake out, you see the market fake down to new lows here. Um, yesterday before then rallying sharply. This is a sign that the professionals are starting to enter the market on the opposite side and tend to move the market in the opposite direction with a normally with a quite strong move. Obviously not all setups are profitable setups because for those of you who follow my videos regularly will notice that the last video I did, if I go back a few days, was this particular setup here which again was a VS setup and this was actually a losing trade. Again, it's important to understand that losses can, will, and do occur. So this would have been a losing trade. Now let's go and have a look what happened just a few days later. Just clear everything off. And how this pretty much similar setup unfolded uh, yesterday. The first thing to notice is our new MTP trend. This is our color coded indicator here. Again, this is new in our new Ninja Trader 7 add-ons and Ninja Trader 8 add-ons. So how does this help us with our identifying our trade setups. Well this works off our decision points. If I go back to the previous low here, right mouse click, place DP on, this uh, shows you where our decision point levels are or our areas of support and resistance and remember these are on the chart in advance. We were actually doing our regular training uh, webinar yesterday with our MT Predictor customers and we had this level on our chart yesterday and we're showing customers that even before the market got there this was an area of where support was likely. And as you can see the YM came down to this level, rallied back up again, came down again into this level. This is when our indicator turned black, you can see before then starting to rally back again before the indicator turned blue and therefore indicated that the large degree trend was now up. But this gave you permission because the indicator was black to then take this particular long trade. So if I right mouse click over the blue buy bar, place the analysis on, this was the setup. Remember we use again correct position sizing to keep our initial risk small under control. In this case uh, less than 2% risk on a sample 20,000 US dollar account. The target was up here at potentially 5.8R or 5.8 times the initial risk. The market never reached it, so if I grab the risk reward line and come down to where the close was, it was a very nice 3.8R profit or a profit of approximately 3.8 times the initial risk. But just look where this trade setup got you in. The very bar of the low of the day. Why did we like this setup? Um, more than others. Well, if we go to the YM, not the YM, <clears throat> we're on the YM, if we go to the ES and we look at the uh, decision point level from yesterday as well, again we had this on our chart in advance as we were doing our training yesterday for our current customers. There's the last pivot low. We right mouse click, do decision point. You can see it's a major support. It tells you it's a major support and as you can see that caught the very low of the day on the ES as well for you. Notice also that the MTP trend went black here as well, indicating that we're in a potential support zone. Also, notice on the trend indicator here, it went blue here, and this is a setup that I was looking at as it unfolded yesterday live in our training webinar, and was telling customers that this was a good one to avoid, this one here. You can see that it would have actually turned out as a losing trade because it was against our new MTP trend color. So this helped you keep you out of this losing trade. If we go through the rest of the day, you can see the MTP trend color was blue for the rest of the day. And that also helped you avoid these losing trades for the rest of the day because the larger trend was up. So our new MTP trend indicator did a very good job of calling the larger trend uh, yesterday as well. Let's clear everything off. So. Coming back to why I like the, the setup in the YM, it was because the ES was at major support and the YM was at major support as well. In other words, both markets were telling you the same thing. They both had your support zone coming in at the same thing as well. Remember, it was a short trading day. 
uh, September the 2nd, uh, Labor Day, uh, holiday the day before. So this is when I also like to check the 24 hour charts as well. So if we go to the 24 hour chart, this was the low of the day yesterday. So if I go back to the last main pivot low, which was here, can you see how also on the 24 hour chart, this was actually coming in for major support as well. So yet another thing coming together. In other words, I like to see lots of different things coming together to give you the same picture. It just adds, adds confidence. If I go to the uh, ES on the 24 hour chart as well, there's the last pivot low. Remember these levels are on the um, chart for you in advance. And as you can see, we came down there to support as well. Let's go back to the day session only chart on the YM. So the result of this was a nice VS setup. Again, this is a new trade setup in our NinjaTrader 7 add-ons, NinjaTrader 8 add-ons, and it will be coming in a new version of our standalone uh, fairly soon as well. And as you can see, combined with the MTP trend indicator, which again is new for our NinjaTrader 7 add-ons, that allowed you to call the very bar of the low of the day and allowed you to have one long trade all the way up here into close for in a very nice 3.8 hour profit. So a very good trade setup and called the low of the day very nicely for us on uh, the YM.